Hi everyone. I wanted to go over one of the homework uh, problems and kind of have the approach of what you want to do when you're trying to solve these more difficult problems. Uh, first of all, when you do a problem like this, you want to slow down and you want to look at what it's asking for. First, uh, the adjusted trial balance at August 34th, 2014 and 2013 is included in million. So let's go ahead and open it up. What you basically have is what the beginning account is, what the account balance is in receivables, and the ending accounts receivables. So what this type of problem is asking you to do is to interpret, in other words, interpret what these changes uh, in this asset account mean. And you'll also notice here you have collections from customers. So these are actual collections on account uh, from customers. Uh, Prepaid insurance has, doesn't have anything to do with sales revenue here at this point. Uh, accrued liabilities has nothing to do with sales revenue. Uh, collections from customers does. Prepayment uh, or payment of prepaid insurance doesn't. And cash payments for other. Notice that it says for other operating expenses. So they're very they're being very clear in saying this is not having anything to do with customers. This is for other operating expenses. The best approach you can take to a problem like this where it says, hey, what's the sales revenue for uh, the year ended 2014? is to use a T account. Let's go ahead and look at a T account I've got set up. Whoop. Using this the wrong way. You want to have on a sheet of paper, you want to have a T account. You want to have the beginning balance for receivables and the ending balance for receivables. The only reason I put this here is so you can see the offset. Uh, luckily I've already bal uh, you know, balanced this for you so you can see what it looks like. Uh, let's come down here. And here you can see the T account. Notice what I've done. What I've done first, let's go ahead and do take these one by one, and we'll color them one by one. First thing I've done is I've taken the $240, uh, excuse me, $240 million of receivables. If you look here, you will see that the opening balance was $240 million. Notice it says in millions, so everything here is in millions. Uh, don't get twisted around with this whole millions or not. When it says in millions, this, these are in millions, everything's in millions. So we start with $240 million to start the year. When we come over here, you notice that we end with $490 million. Come over here, you see I put $240 million, $240 million, $490 million. So now what you're trying to do is figure out what the middle is. And keep in mind that what you're trying to solve for is the revenue. If it is asking you for the revenue for the year ended August 2014. So you don't know what this is. Okay, this I, you have it here because I already filled it in for you. But you start with the beginning, you start with the end. You know that cash collections, right? Cash collections, when you collect cash, you're collecting cash here in this case on receivables. So at some point, uh, this amount, 20600 was set up as a receivable. <laughs> and as you collect it, remember you, you book it to receivable as a debit, and as you collect it, uh, you uh, debit cash, so you're collecting it, then you work the receivable down. And that's how you get the receivable down. So for example, mm, let's do this, uh, we'll copy it here just so you can see exactly what's happening. We'll copy over here. And let's call this the cash account. Get rid of everything so it's nice and clean. So this twenty thousand six hundred, right? This twenty thousand six hundred was something that once upon a time was not uh, collected. Okay, so at some point, what we did is we booked uh, the twenty thousand six hundred not as cash but as a receivable. So we booked a twenty thousand six hundred dollars receivable. As we collect the cash, we have twenty thousand six hundred here. That's, we're collecting the cash, and then you'll notice the credit, the offsetting credit is the receivable. So it's lowering uh, the amount of the receivable. Uh, when you take the 240 and you end up with 490 and you collected cash of 20600 as you collect the cash, it credits the receivable account, right? You debit cash. What are you going to credit? You credit the receivables account. It leaves you with... Uh, a missing number here and that missing number is sales revenue in this case it's twenty thousand eight hundred and fifty dollars for the one that I'm working you since this is algorithmic you'll see a different amount the key thing here when you're doing this kind of problem and you're answering the question how much is sales revenue is you want to take the 240 
at the beginning, the 490 at the end, you collected cash, collections from customers, 20,600 million, everything's in millions. You stick this here in the 20,600 because that's how much you collected on receivables. And the plug or the difference is 20,850. And that tells you what this was. Obviously, uh, this 20,850 was something that was collected as a receivable. If not, this wouldn't balance. And correspondingly, sales revenue to balance that would be 20,850. Let's go ahead and give that a try. 20,850. And that's the answer. The important thing here, the important thing here is more that you understand the methodology that you use here. The methodology you use to get the sales revenue is beginning balance and set up your ending balance and then ask yourself what happened in the middle. Ending, beginning balance, ending balance, what happens in the middle? Any cash collections are credits and then any recognition of revenue is a debit. There's the debit, there's the credit to sales revenue. And then this 20,600, uh, when you collected the cash, it goes here uh, as a debit to 20,600 and lowers the amount of receivables. If we collect it, we're no longer owed it. This, side, this is the approach you take. Know this because this is going to be important to know when you're trying to back into what is sales revenue. I hope you found this useful.